All right, hi, I am Craig Siren, and this is my partner, Joseph Saldivar. Um, this is our final project. Before I go into that, how many of you have ever gotten up, started getting ready for the day, and you walked outside, and it's 40, 50 degrees, and you walked out with shorts? I'm sure, I'm sure some people have done that. I know I've done it. It happens. If you have done that, then our project here is probably something of interest to you. If you haven't done that, well, it looks cool. So essentially, what it does, so our, our end goal is to gather the temperature from outside, transmit the temperature via the XPs that we have, convert that information into degrees, and then via displaying them via uh, the Neo Pixel, our uh, Adafruit will show. So certain colors will uh, demonstrate certain things. So like 30 to 40 will be purple, 70 to 80 will be orange, and then it'll, the color scale pretty much an RGB scale. How it works, um, as Joe said, we have uh, some of the XB radios as displayed earlier by the other groups, and we have one connected to a breakout board outside with a temperature sensor, and what that does is it gathers the temperature and then transmits the data as analog to the other XB that we have inside, and then that one inside is connected to an Arduino Uno board that will take the information it receives and then convert it into a numeric temperature. And then from there, it also has code to turn, change the color of the lights to a specific color depending on what the temperature reading is. Okay, pretty much the components we use is the following. I'm just gonna go into further detail on uh, the later slides. So we use uh, two XBs, brake boards, sensors, the, obviously the Arduino board, the NeoPixel LED ring, and we, to power we use solar panel with a capacitor and rechargeable battery. And I'll show you pictures of all that. So this is an XB. The top part is would be the XB, and the bottom would be a shield needed to communicate with computers to use the XCTU, which would be the software that would be needed in order to help communicate the two XBs together. Because if not, there it wouldn't be possible. This is the temperature sensor, so we have the voltage in the ground and also the, the tip that would send the information out to the XB. And this is our power supply. Essentially, we have, because we are going to be putting this outside and it needs to be powering itself. So we're going to put a solar panel connected to a capacitor because the solar panel, solar panel generates too much energy, which has to be converted down to 3.3 because it does 5-point voltage into the rechargeable battery. Then this is the receiver with the with the NeoPixel attached to it. The XB is there along with the NeoPixel and we're, getting, we're drawing power con from the Arduino connected to the computer which then will display the numbers on a computer screen. This is the XB sense. This is the XB with the temperature sensor and the break board. So we essentially we put everything on the board along with the little black the bottom right hand corner, that little black piece is the temperature sensor. Then the XB and then the wire connected would be, would be connected to its power source. Okay, and I'm going to show the video now. Alright, so in the video, at the start of it, um, the video starts where we just took the temperature sensor part out of the freezer um, to show it transitioning through the colors as it warms up. It started off blue in the 40 to 50 degree range. Green is the 50 to 60. And now um, there is a little bit of downtime as it tries to warm up throughout the room. Uh, and it will move up 60 to 70, it moves to yellow. And then 70 to 80, it'll be like a darker, like orangish yellow. 80 plus is a orange red and then we don't show it in the video because we couldn't manually get it up there but anything higher than 90 degrees it displays red and then we do unfortunately it's not readable but we have uh, the temperature output going on alongside it so one of the many hurdles that we had was um, just trying to gauge the temperature because we can't naturally like, 
all of a sudden just create like high temperatures or low temperatures so we have to have to use external sources like a refrigerator or just like put our hands on the sensor but if it's like outside it automatically like read as the time goes on also um other issues we were having was um the xbs often had issues communicating with each other and we had to we had to find ways of like getting rid of certain bad packets so if you can't really see it but at points it skips a lot because we ignore most of the bad packets to only display good data that way there isn't much of a lag and essentially that's what we did for our uh, project and uh... Yep. uh... real quickly in the future um, if we were to adapt it we'd like to the neopixel light that we use is fully programmable and so one thing that could potentially be done to improve it would be like a thermostat setting where the lights gradually light up to the temperature um, but we ran out of time to do that <laughs>